Did you know there's a way to speed up repair and maintain a rig at factory spec? Just use the Huck 9 Porter Repair System from Alcoa Fastening Systems. It's a repair kit you can trust. Everyone knows that the Huck brand means the highest quality fasteners and tooling in the business. And the Huck 940 is recommended by International Truck for all cross member and frame repairs for class eight, medium duty trucks, and school buses. With the Huck system, your repairs will be up to original factory specifications. And forget any rework. You can use it for a variety of chassis applications. And it's available in half, 5 eighths, and 3 quarter inch diameter, as well as 12, 14, 16, and 20 millimeters. It'll work faster too. And that means you'll make more money. You'll find the Huck 940 repair system so powerful and easy to use, it'll change the way you do repairs. This video shows you just how simple using the 940 system is. Take a look. For complete setup, preventative maintenance, and safe operating instructions, please read the operator's manuals that have been enclosed with this tool package. Your Huck 940 repair kit contains a 940 power rig with 15 foot power cord, a 26-24 HS hydraulic installation tool with 12 foot hose, the nose assembly, a 10,000 PSI liquid filled pressure gauge, a comprehensive instruction manual kit including a cross reference fastener chart and Huck service center listing, a guide to proper inspection, instructions on how to use the pressure gauge, a pressure setting list for the nose options, as well as this training video. And, if you purchased one, a patented Huck Spin Collar Cutter Assembly for repairs. Everything you'll need to get started. First, you'll need to set up your power rig. By the way, the 940 power rig is shipped without oil. So, don't operate the unit until it has been filled properly. To fill it with oil, simply remove the filler plug and dipstick assembly. Fill with the required amount of Dextron transmission fluid and check the fluid level. Make sure the level falls between the two hash marks on the dipstick. Remember, it's important to check the fluids on your power rig regularly. Next, we'll connect the hydraulic lines from the hose kit to the power rig. Insert the quick disconnect couplers. Plug in the 24 volt trigger wire. Then, be sure to cycle the hydraulic fluid through the lines. Hold the trigger down for just a few seconds to allow the fluid to fill both hydraulic lines, completely priming the system. Cycle the tool a few times to ensure the piston is in the full forward position. Even though the pressure is factory preset, you want to check the pressure using the supplied gauge. To do so, Remove the top hydraulic hose and replace it with the pressure gauge. Depress and hold the trigger. Read the pressure setting. Adjust the pressure by turning the thumb screw located opposite the fill plug. Turning the screw in increases the pole line pressure. Turning the screw out reduces the pole line pressure. Consult your operator's manual for the proper pressure setting for this tool. Now it's time to return the quick disconnect to the pole side of the pump. Next, you're ready to attach the nose assembly. Begin by attaching the thimble to the piston. Just thread it on as shown. You'll know it's on correctly when the machine flat at the base of the thimble disappears just below the cylinder housing. Line up the Allen screw to one of the four grooves machined into the piston and tighten the screw. Attach the anvil using the half shells. Snap the true arc ring into position. And cycle the tool. You are now ready to install a fastener. In 
insert the pin into the pre-drilled hole. Spin the collar with a flange base towards the work surface. Insert the ratchet rod through the tool. Place the tool at the end of the fastener. Turn the ratchet, threading the tool onto the pin. Stopping approximately an eighth of an inch above the collar and then remove the rod. Depressing the trigger will engage the power rig, starting the collar swaging process. Swage the collar until the anvil bottoms out at the base of the flange. As this happens, release the trigger. Reinsert the ratchet rod and unscrew the thimble from the fastener.